This is an overview of the MapIt Plugin Pro version. In this video, I'll be running through several of the demos in order for you to get a high level overview of how the MapIt Plugin works. Because this is such a robust plugin, I won't be able to cover all scenarios. However, one point that I would like to note is that MapIt is 100% XML driven. So you can easily use any programming language you want to serve up the XML data and create your own dynamic mapping engine. The plugin can also be used statically if you know the fixed locations that you want to pinpoint. With that said, let's take a look at the organization of the files that come with MapIt. Now when you first extract all of the files, you'll want to make sure to demo all the files using HTTP or HTTPS because if you try to open up these files using the file whack whack path, then if you try to browse to anything, nothing is going to work. So it's important that you throw these on a web server and view them over HTTP. Now the files that come with MapIt um, in the main root directory are not required. There is an instructions file which you're going to want to go through and it has a quick start guide and it also has some important links to some detailed information for MapIt. The main directories that MapIt consists of are the demos, which has some really good helpful starting points. You can use some of these files just to pretty much get yourself started and the data directory which contains all the configuration files and the XML file that is used to drive the MapIt plugin and then the uh, source file which contains all of the source files that you will need in order to use MapIt. So with that let's go ahead and run through some demos. So before I jump into showing you the themeability of MapIt I'm going to show you all the core pieces of MapIt. Now MapIt is 100% XML driven, so all the data you see here comes from an XML file. The main portions of MapIt consist of a title bar, um, a left navigation menu, and a right information bar, and a details pane. So as you come over here and click on any one of the categories, it is actually going to pinpoint each one of the locations on the map for you. And as you'll notice on the right hand side, the information bar is also updating accordingly. Now another feature that we have that you can turn on and off is the details pane. So as you're navigating through each category you'll see the details pane which consists of all the location markers for that particular category. Now the information bar is also customizable so you can turn it on and off also and within each one of the link location points you can click on the get directions which will instantly take you to a, a get directions map that allow you to enter in the directions and as you can see the destination direction is already pre-filled with the location that we just clicked on so that is in a nutshell just a basic overview of how map it works now the theming portion of, of MapIt is great because it allows you to create your own themes. Now there's 17 plus different themes that are built in to jQuery UI and you can easily apply any one of those themes just by clicking on one of these links and that's easily set by changing the location um, by changing a simple string in your um, HTML file. So as you can see the theme ability is, is fast and effective and say you actually wanted to create a theme that was extremely specific to your site you could easily come out here to the jQuery UI theme roller you could um, choose any one of the themes you customize it you download it and then you can take that theme and easily apply it to uh, the MapIt plugin that you have. So this is just a high level overview of the theme demo for MapIt. So let's go ahead and jump back here to the main menu. So this next demonstration, I want to demonstrate the layout philosophies of MapIt and we'll be looking at the compact layout and the style locator tool. So on the compact layout, you're going to see how we've taken the map and actually put it into more of a compact style. And over here on the right hand side, you'll see some of the style sheets that we used. And it's very, very simple, very straightforward CSS styling that will allow you to look at the map from a completely different perspective. Now, the tool that is really going to help you uh, look at um, 
these particular styles is the style locator tool and this tool just helps you identify the main styles in Mappet that you are going to use to customize how you want Mappet to look so as you check on each one of these boxes it highlights the style sheet element or class that you're going to need to be able to change so that's just a high level overview of how easy it is to change the layout and customization of the Mappet plugin so this last demonstration that I'm going to run through is just showing that Mappet can be used simultaneously with multiple maps. So you can throw one, two, or as many maps as you need into a particular web page and it pretty much works without a hitch. And the last thing that we're going to cover in this particular um, overview of Mappet is the user guide. Now you can get to this online and the great thing about this guide is it has full detailed information everything you're going to need to know to get quick started detailed usage all the configuration files everything that you need for a, a effective implementation of Mappet into your website so we covered a lot of information in a short amount of time and the main purpose of this video is to show at a high level some of the core functionalities of Mappet there are many aspects of the plugin that we did not cover, such as zooming, panning, caching, custom icons, custom HTML, and the list goes on and on. So please see the link that follows for complete details on this product, and thanks for having a look at Mappet.